Hi guys, and this is Jeff. So, I woke up and then I heard that there was a terrorist attack that happened in Hong Kong last night. So then I was like, what the hell, terrorist attack in Hong Kong? And then I actually realized they were referring to the protests. So, I actually had to read about it and then they were like, Hong Kong police rushed into the train and started hitting innocent citizens inside the train by their baton. It should be considered as another hashtag terrorist attack in Hong Kong, but it's an official terrorist attack. <sighs> that is what they were referring to. I guess a lot of the mainstream media, especially the ones that are pro-protesters, they would only choose to show certain images, especially that is beneficial to them. So they were saying that the police is so violent, they're trying to arrest innocent protesters. But what happened beforehand, mainstream media actually didn't cover it at all. So what has happened that led to the police had to storm into the train stations and arrest all these protesters? Let's have a look, shall we? So, apparently, this is what happened that led to the police went into the train station and arrest all the protesters. Actually not all because probably most of the protesters would have escaped by the time the police arrived at the train station. So as you can see, they were trying to like destroy the CCTV inside the train stations. And then they were even trying to use like objects to break the windows of the train control room like look at that look at that why would they think destroying the train station is something to be proud of like this guy is even trying to clip off the wires and it seems like people are cheering and to be honest i don't even understand the logic behind this the protest has already gone far beyond the original purpose of getting the extradition law withdrawn, which is already suspended anyway. And then what else did they do? And then they were even trying to use like umbrellas to break the vending machines. Yeah, look at that. They are pretty aggressive about it as well. Okay. I really don't know what to say because while they're complaining about the police being, oh, police brutality, police brutality, they even frame that as terrorists, like literally terrorists. But they were the one who destroyed the train station, like damaged public properties, yet when the police actually came and arrested them, they complained about the police using violence to tackle them. Like, if you can't bear the consequence, don't even try to break the law in the first place. And if you try to do all the actions that you have done, that is the consequence that you have to bear. And you can't just say like, oh, the police is being so brutal. Uh, uh, police brutality, uh, terrorists, terrorists. You guys are the terrorists. You guys are the one who impacted thousands of people, thousands of normal citizens in Hong Kong who had to rely on the public transport to go to their destinations, whether to go to work or to meet up with their friends. You guys are the one who took away their freedom to do that. And yet you have the audacity to say, oh, police brutality, or oh, the, uh, the police are, are terrorists. No, you guys are the terrorists. And when you guys get arrested by the police, this is the consequence that you have to take. Like seriously, that is just getting more and more ridiculous. And I guess why this actually happened was partly because the youngsters, I guess is they are mainly pretty young as you can see in, uh, from the video, uh, they are instigated by the brains of this movement. And obviously um, there is like a way that they send information. And so where did they get their information? 
There was actually kind of like a Reddit equivalent of online forum in Hong Kong that is called LIHKG. And as I continue to read the content on that website, I actually find so many similarity with how ISIS are recruiting people to join the terrorist group. Shall we have a look actually? Just a heads up guys. Um, the content here might make you feel terrified, so here we go. Why I think this movement has turned into like an extremist activity. So this post basically says, since the school year is starting pretty soon, let's boycott and bully the sons and daughters of the policemen and the government officials. The thing that really terrified me is that, as you can see, this post actually got 7,000 likes and only 99 dislikes. And then what they are saying is, um, yeah, bullying people is not really illegal. So because I don't really like the officials and the policemen, let's bully their sons and daughters while they're at school so that they will have a sad and lonely teenage life. As much as I don't think the government is doing a great job, I think bullying is definitely, definitely something that shouldn't be encouraged. Uh, even the replies were like, um, we should, yeah, we should actually promote this. We should actually get, get people to bully them. Just because you don't, I mean, just because you don't like the government officials, you don't like the policemen, that really don't give you the right to bully the sons and daughters of these prominent people that you hate. No matter what, bullying is wrong. At this point, they're still saying like, oh, I'm fighting for freedom. I'm fighting for justice. The policemen did this. The policemen were, were treating the citizens really badly. But on the other hand, you are encouraging people to bully someone. Like, like the sons and daughters didn't even have any stake in this movement, yet you're trying to ruin their lives. How do you say you're fighting for justice? I'm just getting really, really frustrated as I continue to read these comments because it, it, it just turned into something really wrong. Because I think these protesters, I would say they are insane. They're crazy. And this has to be stopped. Probably even back in a few months ago, I was thinking like, oh, I don't think the Chinese government should send their troops to Hong Kong in order to handle this crisis. But at this point, when you see that these protesters are mentally sick. They are mentally sick. They just think the government is wrong. Even though all the ridiculous things that they have been doing to interrupt normal people's life, they are ruining the economy. But they still think they are doing the right thing and they are doing all these counterproductive actions to, 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 to push this agenda forward. That's why I really don't see any hope unless the Chinese government is either sending troops in order to get this crisis solved or the Hong Kong government is going to introduce emergency law in order to restrict certain movements or the circulation of this kind of content online. At this point, I'm actually all for it because at this point, the most important thing is to restore the damages that has already been done to the society. And all the other stuff, I mean, even though the government is doing the best job in terms of like providing housing and all that, but at this point, at this moment, we need social order to be restored before we talk about what the government has done in order to push the people at this point. So, yeah, to be honest, uh, I just get really upset because this was the place where I grew up in and I actually had so many opportunities. Like, I, I, I went to school in Hong Kong, I was exposed to the culture. I was actually so proud of where I was from. But looking at the people who were destroying around the city and yeah, I mean, they are frustrated. Direct that to bloody Carrie Lam. Um, you can go and, and do something to her, not to the general public 
who are using the airport, who are using the MTR, or like who are using the main roads to commute to, to get to their destinations. That's just bloody ridiculous. So, yeah, I really don't know what to say apart from saying that I'm just disappointed with what the people have done and how, I guess the most important thing is that how these young protesters would only receive certain information, they only know about a part of the whole incident and then they were magnifying this small part and then and then they, they, they just make irreversible damages to the society and what I really want to say is that if you really want to help Hong Kong just try to get your information from different sources and don't trust the fake news ultimately those pro-protesters um, news outlets they were only selectively dissent information that suits their agenda I'm sure if they actually have a look at the information of all sides and try to process a bit of like a critical thinking skills they would probably stop what they are doing at the moment once again I really love Hong Kong and I was heartbroken to see my hometown is torn into pieces so I guess if you're like me, please do say something about it. But I guess, even though during tough times, everyone, don't get too disappointed. Um, you find yourself very upset about all the things that are happening. Maybe spend some time not consuming social media, spend some time not going onto the internet, because it is kind of like a downward spiral and then you would only get more and more upset with as you consume more information so the best thing to do is to is to pluck off a tiny bit maybe go outside especially it's important to do something that makes you happy if getting takeaway or playing video games would distract you from all the things that is happening please do that for a tiny while because it is the most important thing to make yourself happy first before you tend to others so yeah I do apologize this video is a little bit unorganized but these are some of the things that I really really want to tell people not just the protesters but also I guess people who would like to find out more about what a Hong Konger is thinking about this protest um, so yeah and I hope you guys get a little bit more insights about this incident by hearing what a Hong Konger has to say Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm sure the things that I said might not please everyone. So if you tend to disagree with what I said, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I will try to reply to your comments as well. Everyone, please stay safe and, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the day. And the most important thing is make yourself happy. Peace out. Ah. <laughs> What a great way to end this video. See you guys.